They're gonna say it's all like Donkey Kong. I was thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you was coming. <laughs> it's all like, like Donkey Kong. Oh, farts! Oh, what is happening? Yeah, baby. Holy son of a gun, that's a big one. Hey guys, welcome to G Outdoors. Today we're gonna do a short and sweet video, how to mount your turkey fan to a plaque. As you can see, I bought one on Amazon, Walnut Hollow Country, not expensive, much cheaper for you guys in the States, double the price here like always. Turkey fan is already here salted and all. You have multiple choices to do, you know, you could do it, you could do it regular salt with some borax or some bondo. This time we did it with borax, doesn't matter. And if you didn't see me get this bird, check it up top. So now we'll get to processing the bird gonna take off all the salt and show you how to mount this sucker real quick all right guys so i know i said before i wasn't gonna put any bondo you could get this at your local hardware store not expensive but after removing the salt i felt more comfortable i didn't like you know just to take a chance so took the extra step five minutes more put the bondo right there you know what it's worth taking the extra step not having the bugs here we are we're just waiting for it to harden and we're gonna mount her on the plaque five minutes later so we opened the packaging came with this little birch and this piece here we got three screws you want to go grab the two small screws the smallest ones you can't mistake in them look at that you got a big one and two small ones just make sure you're grabbing the right side there's one that you see that's unfinished so i'm gonna put it like this even if it's on the back you have two pilot holes super easy if you're not sure just place them first just so you'll have an indicator on where it goes i'm gonna put it like that i'll start with this guy i'll pierce it just a bit through just so it's easier to place you need to go crazy with the drill so now you see it's piercing a bit so you're gonna go to try to find that hole oh and i found it there so you just go you're gonna leave it loosely just a bit do the same thing here don't overpower don't use a big drill nice and slowly so we'll leave them loose super important you guys leave that loose because you're gonna have to put in the turkey tail inside so next step you're gonna turn it around so here we have our fan you're gonna flip it upside down super important always check because not every turkey's feathers are straight like mine is a bit off we'll check that out after so here we go you're just gonna lift the birch piece see in our situation the tail is a bit thicker here you want to leave yourself a little buffer zone turn it around you want to place it straight now as of now because or else it's too late we're gonna screw it down so here we're gonna go find the right spot for it you're gonna center it you're gonna look at it from a distance does it make sense does it need to go down how does it look cameraman Put it on the wall. You make sure that it looks decent or else you'll cry for the rest of your life. <laughs> Two eyes are better than one. I think we're set. What we're gonna do, we're gonna re-push it back. First thing you wanna do, is go tighten up the bottom ones now. Without breaking through because it's really thin, the birch. There we go. Next step, you're gonna grab your big boy. You're gonna put it right there. There's already a pilot hole. You wanna go real slow on this too. That's what I like about the bondo because it gives you that extra integrity. There we go. Don't overdo it, that too. Quick tip, guys. If ever you see that you're having trouble because the bird's tail is not flush or whatever, just in on the back of the bird, you could take out all the, the I call them the baby feathers here. I left them, but you could remove all these so it has a flush mount. Here it won't show because it's gonna be on the wall. But if you see you ha you're having trouble, just remove those feathers easily with an X-Acto or a little, a little cutter. So that's done. Next step, the beard. So here we're gonna see which side we like it better. He has a little twist to him. Do I like it more on the left, on the right? what side is nicer I think for this guy we're gonna go like this so this is a good time to get the glue gun and fire up you're gonna go place the beard where you don't see obviously you want to show that you got a big long beard right so the lower the beard bigger the, the tom looks so size matters in this situation best thing to do here is put some and don't be shy you want to put a nice amount you won't see it so don't worry about it you want to keep it as high as possible so obviously it doesn't rub the whole time and just like that and you're gonna put your finger down so it holds oh it's already setting what i'm gonna do here i have a little screwdriver and i'll hold it down you push it down hot glue doesn't take that much time to set and you wait and you wait and I think we're in business, guys. 
holy mother of God. So it's pretty much done. Now, a lot of people like to put their spurs or the bullets. Like I have my original shell here. We'll see what we'll do. Once again, some hot glue or we'll put some spurs. We'll see maybe on each side like this, have them holding maybe like that. It's actually pretty nice. I'm not sure yet, but the main part of this video was how to mount it quickly. And this is how it's done. Pretty cool kit. And uh, honestly, you don't have to be a taxidermist to get this done. If you have any questions, don't be shy. Write them down below. We'll be glad to help you out with all this. But all that's left is getting yourself a nice little screw on the wall and finding the best place to put it. Ready to go. It's going to look awesome. What a beauty. Hey guys, I hope you liked that tip video and I hope it helps. If you guys want to see some of our other videos, click on the links on the side. And as always, like and subscribe. See you next week.